Hi there. My name's Ben, and you're watching Mario Speedruns. Welcome back. This is episode two. I'm filming on September 27, 2015. Uh, I have played our uh, character forward a little bit, and uh, I have picked up some scrolls and potions and picked up a new magic book just to make sure I wasn't going to be like a quick false start. So uh, he's advanced since our last episode. So yeah, let's have a look and see how he's doing, shall we? Let's play some Moria. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel of Source Code. All right, let's spin the wheel. And we'll try to figure out whatever function it points to. Okay, what's it going to be, folks? I see known one. I see something about price adjust or something. Render. All right, which one's going to be? Three, two, one, and stop. Go down. 25 lines long. Can we make sense of this function? Go down. I think I know what that one does. Go down. All right, there's the collar. You can see that we're on a down staircase, and that's what this is gonna do. Go down one level by Robert Allen Kaneki. Okay, there's the whole thing. So let's uh, go over this bit by bit here. This gets the tile in the cave. So this is what tile we're standing on. If there isn't a thing here isn't it? if there isn't a treasure uh, if there is a treasure sorry check to see if it's a downstair uh, if there is we advance our dungeon level and we set this flag to true which will eventually uh, cause the game to generate a new level so and then we print out some useful stuff that you might might uh, recognize Okay, otherwise there are no stairs. And if uh, there are no stairs, we print out this. I see no down staircase here. And then we even give them a nice free turn flag so it doesn't, nobody will hit you. <laughs> if you're standing on a tile and you say, and it doesn't have stairs, and you say, go down now, it'll say that, but then the monster that's standing next to you won't just hit you because you tried to go down stairs that weren't there. All right. That is an easy one, folks. Easy peasy. And there's the caller. We're in this big giant switch statement and that of commands. So the command is go down. That's so we hit the greater than sign to go down. And if you go up to the very top here, you see the switch. Not that switch. Is it that switch? I don't know. In any event, we hit this eventually and we go down. All right, that is the go down function of dungeon.c in the GMoria sources. And that concludes the Wheel of Sword Code. Hey, hey, here we go. Waiting for the timer to start. There's our character, level two. Only two more experience points to go until level three. Not bad, right? All right, this is my favorite uh, Moria playing time of the week right here. Sunday morning. You know what? We can change our name. What's that crappy name doing there? Okay, let's make up a random name, shall we? Rochthom. Nah. Cormer. Nah. Doll Ruin. Nah. Morel. Alright, Morel. We have a new name, folks. So, let's see now. Timer has started. We can begin. Okay, I've already been playing, so uh, some things are identified, like a potion of slow poison. Mm, yeah. We'll hang on to that because we don't know the cure poison uh, spell yet. There it is, the bane of a new adventurer. 
No shovel can't get past it. So you know you know what we're doing here, right? <laughs> All right, killing some icky things. We are level three, we can learn some spells. Um, yeah, like I said, I was already playing. I uh, sold off some scrolls and sold off some potions. And uh, I bought this new magic book right there. We'll need it before we know it. Okay, so we're gonna learn some spells, yeah. Uh, I guess a uh, stinking cloud is very useful. We'll cast it. We're at 37 experience right here. So what are we going to go up to? 45. Not bad. We can learn another. Um, I don't know. I always wonder if it should do light area or phase door. Let's go with phase door. Oh, we found this handy lantern too. Which saves us money. So we are rested up. We're going to cast that. And we're at 49. And how many more to go? What's that? 18? Okay, let's play. Now you gotta wonder if 50 feet is too, uh, excuse me, easy of a level. Oh, I wish we could get that money in the wall, but we can't. Uh-oh. I just miscalculated there, folks. He got a couple free hits on us. We're down to five. Okay, we got him. Gotta watch that. Just a, a few wrong moves and whammo will be dead. Oh, it hits you. Do you see that? It touches you. So we're just going to cast our brand new uh, stinking cloud into the wall here. Diagonally down to the left. So that hit him, but we don't know if it hit him directly. Going to just cast to our left here. And we got him. So, there's an empty bottle that's useless. And there's a scroll. We don't know what it is. Sheesh, we'll be level four before we know it. Okay, so that's what the level looks like. How much you want to bet there's a secret door right there? Yep. Oh no. Oh no. What are we going to do, folks? <laughs> well, I don't know. These guys take so much punishment. And we just got them the old-fashioned way. Yeesh, you think we weren't a magic user. There's the stairs down. Let's take the stairs down. Okay, let's not die though. No, uh, no false starts this time, folks. Novice warrior, this guy could kill us. That's two magic missiles. That's three he's taken. Yeah, we could die right here. It could happen if this one fails. Okay, we got him. Flask of oil, we can use that. And now there's another problem. Mr. Kobold is going to join the action. Now we're running for our lives, folks. Uh, 
running for our lives. <laughs> so, uh, uh, he can open doors, so there's no sense closing that. Good. Clear potion, that's useless. Um, I said good, but maybe this is bad. There we go. That was the one I was waiting for. Huh. So, we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe now? Is that what we're going to do? Come on down one step. Come on down. Nope. Come on down one step. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah, what to do? Do we go around him? Take the hit? Taking the hit. 12, 6. See that? Two shots, he got us, what, nine. Even if we get our one mana, we'll still have less uh, hit points. There's our one mana. Got him. That was closer than I'd like to admit. That is a puce. Puce. Uh, yeah, sure. So you can see as we were leveling up here, we got two mana and then we got one mana just last time around. Doo -doo. What am I doing? My fingers wanted to cast uh, fine hidden doors. Oh no. This guy might be worth some hip, some experience. Level four. That was uh, 28 experience points just for him. 28. Okay, so we're gonna learn light area. We had to do it, folks. As much as I wanted to learn a better spell. All right, not too shabby of a run here. Whoa, what am I doing? What am I doing? Blue Yeek. He was surprisingly easy. Ooh, we got a good room here, folks. Novice Warrior. One, two, Three. Potion of Slowness. And another scroll we don't know. What do you think? Is there a hidden door up here? that we can sense. Um, there's the way. I'd like to find a shovel down here. That's what, that would be a good find. So we can clear that rubble right there. Ugh. Are we screwed? We're almost screwed on this level. That, you know, we gotta find a way around here. We gotta find some stairs at least. Or we're dead. That is a way to die early in the game. When you can't get past rubble, and you don't have. Whoa. And you don't have a shovel. One, two, 102 now. All right. Missing all this money in the wall, folks. 
us and our measly 337. The last blue yeek, it took us one shot. This time it was this many. Three or so. Ugh. It looks like we leveled up again. This is the fun part of the game when you just level up all the time. There, we can now find the hidden doors and stairs. And traps. See, our mana went up one more point. You know what? Let's go down again. We're like level five now. Okay, we have two wands. We're going to try them out on the next guy we find. Like this R. This is copper plated wand. Here we go. What is it? It is a wand of Confu Confused Monster. What is the L wand? Oh. Wand of Light. Well, it's money. We can sell that in the store. Some monsters will shrink back from the light. Okay, Woo. we are in our final five minutes of play, folks. Should we go even deeper? Yeah, let's go even deeper. 200 feet. This is how you gain experience quicker, but it's also how you die quicker. This guy is out of our depth. Max intelligence. Didn't that? No, we saw something else. We saw mana, so yeah, our intelligence has not changed as we've leveled up. Okay, 121. Let's see if we can get to uh, the next level, folks. Look at that, we're down to eight. Six, three. <laughs> we're gonna die right here. Oh. What do you want to do? Run? He's not faster than us, thank goodness. Four. Which way do you want to go? Let's go left. Oh, we're going to get hit again. Let's try to hit him with our magic missile. He missed us, thank goodness. What do you want to do? <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> oh, I don't want to die in the game. Well, let's just run, shall we? We're going to go north. Oh, four. We're on stairs. Let's take the stairs up. Saved by stairs. But it wasn't really cheating because we weren't camping on the stairs. If you camp on the stairs, it is cheating, really. Remember I played a version of Moria where things could chase you up the stairs. I think I recall that a long time ago. So it was trying to remove the benefit of uh, getting everybody off your tail by going downstairs or upstairs. So, let's see. Kind of a boring level here. Oh, we got something.
Okay, about one minute left in the game here. Okay, this is experience. Oh, I hate those metallic red centipedes. They're so fast. Come on, we got to get this guy. Well, we're out of time, but I want to get this jelly. Got him. And to finish, we'll go down to 200 feet. All right, that's time, folks. Um, not a bad run, right? Not horrible. I think we did all right. We're level five. Yeah, I like our equipment. Well, it's all store-bought, nothing special. Yeah. Okay, let's see how, what's her name again? I can't remember her name. It's got some L's in it. Morel. Let's see how Morel shapes up in the charts. Okay, let's have a look. All right, all right, let's have a look at some charts. Okay, uh, right here, it picks the name from the first uh, save game. It picks the name at the start of our session, and it was zero, still 0001, so which is why it says that. All right, let's have a look at the morale character. Morale. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. Look at that big jump. I remember that. What was that thing that we killed? The harpy? Boom. Uh, dungeon death, yeah. I I went up to the town and sold some stuff off and then went shoom. Huh. I thought we did a little dipsy doodle though. Anyway, I thought we went up to 200, didn't we? Huh, I don't know, I'm not sure what to think about that. Hit points. A couple close calls. Armor class, nobody's messing with us. Gold is slowly incrementing. Okay, uh, as far as what changed, well, we got a little bit more gold. We jumped up three levels. Uh, no change to our stats. Yeah, and only eight more experience points needed until the next level. Uh, we did find this brass lantern, but that happened before we started this particular session. All right, and inventory-wise, we have three scrolls we don't know what they are and three potions. So maybe we'll try those out next time, or maybe we'll sell them. Don't know. We've been alive for 34 minutes. Been to 200 feet. And our score is 1801. <clears throat> All right. So let's take a look at the charts. So morale doesn't quite make the, uh, the bottom most rung here. Uh, you'll see Magoo up here. He is the evergreen character, so when I'm sick or away or something, I can't do this. I play the Magoo character, and they're all in the can, and as you can see, he's been playing for 10 days. So, anyway, um, yeah, so Magoo will be at the top of all these charts, no doubt. Morale is number six. Nice. Yeah, it's also highlighting 001 because we started out with that name. That's a bit strange. Bit of a bug. Okay, 142 experience points. Number four there. Number seven there. Yeah, I've been playing that Magoo character outside, which is kind of cool. This setup allows me to do that. Uh, and what are we, number eight highest hit points?
picked up 22 things so far. Oh, see our gold sucks because we don't have that shovel. We need a shovel. And lastly, we're number two. Number two on high scores with 1801. Which really isn't bad for 34 minutes of play. All right, so where do we go from here, folks? Um, well, I guess we're gonna go down deeper into the dungeon because we have enough food and light to do that. And then uh, we'll, when our pack is completely full or we're too hurt, uh, we'll head back up to the town. So that's the plan with uh, Morel. Um, I think maybe next time I, I'll film the next episode outside because uh, it's so nice out right now and there's only so many days left while I can do this. Uh, if, so if it's not too windy or if it's not too rainy, I'll try to film next Sunday's episode outside. It'll be just a, a neat kind of treat. If I wait too long, the leaves will start to fall and uh, the ambient sound will be that. Be leaves rustling. So anyway, other than that, I just want to show you this. I don't know if you can see this. Dungeon Hacks by David Craddock. And it's about roguelikes. And in particular, Chapter 7 is called None Shall Pass, Braving the Minds of Moria. So it's not very often that a book has something about Moria in it. And uh, you can buy this on Amazon if you like. I bought it. It's a, it's a good chapter. I haven't read the other chapters yet because, hey, it's Moria. <laughs> that gets the first read. All right. That's it for me, folks. I hope you're having a, a good Moria run in your game. And I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll see you outside. Who knows? All right. Bye-bye.